actually this bridge has been opened up to members of the public to use it. The two districts of Kakumiro and Mubende are happily supporting the Prime Minister and the entire team here after the commission of this bridge. As UBC, we have been here in Kakumiro and in the interest of time, we want just to give you a list of one or two vehicles who are going to make their way to this side of Movende, then we shall cross back to UBC. There's someone who wants to speak to us here. How do you feel about this? Let me hold for you. I think it is very nice and fantastic because the Prime Minister has done something that you can see on your basis. Okay, for that case, we are happy for, I'm from Chankwanzi, by name of Muchungus Gerard. Well, look at that excitement as the vehicles or the convoy, this is part of the convoy of the Prime Minister, making their way to the other ends of Mubende district. It is the first of its kind after almost three to four months when this place has been out of use by members of the, the public, especially those using vehicles and motorcycles. We are told a few members of the public who have been using this facility have been those moving on probably their foot or bicycles and motorcycles. So the launch comes as a breakthrough to this community as now we expect business flow between the two districts to at least commence as of today and tomorrow. Hear that. Well, <laughs> Esanyungo <laughs> Yes, we are continuing to pick a few of the ideas and of course the moments here as we officially commission this brief. These are some of the local leaders who have at least aided the process or the program of making sure that this bridge is up to what we are seeing today here. We want, as the Prime Minister slopes down with, his, with her team uh, on behalf of the management of UBC, we want to at least re echo what has been sounded here uh, by the Prime Minister and the entire team that members of the general public have been cautioned to at least put this facility into the good use to ensure that the government is money and the Prime Minister's money which has been invested in this facility, then we have good use of it. Then the, the, the good gesture has been that the Prime Minister ha has also rewarded some of her team, especially the security team and the local leaders who have been here to ensure that they, they, they make this possible, then it, it, it also comes back to the whole community that yes, the, the, the roads are now being put in place. Then the question is how do they replicate this into development? Uh, the Prime Minister still has something very small here she wants to demonstrate to us as from then we shall hand back to you at the broadcast house In between the caravat crossings, we put a concrete. What is it? It's loose. It is loose. And so when you look at how we did it, as you can see, we use the sand from here. We can, we can even cross and see the other side where water is going. 
Yes, let's move to the next side as we wind up this broadcast here. The Prime Minister seems very, very happy about this development because it has entirely been her effort with the local communities here. As you heard from her speech, she, she has sourced a lot of resources to the extent of picking some from her own pocket on what she's paid as a Prime Minister in terms of salary to ensure that she bridges this gap where the local communities or the residents of this country or the two districts of Kakumiro can be in position to at least move around in terms of carrying out their businesses. So th this is one of what she's trying to portray to us in terms of the development and the level of what has been put here at this bridge. We, we are just waiting for something small here. The, the Prime Minister is trying to really give us the clear picture of what she has enabled herself to lobby and with the effort of the communities to put here in Kakumiro district. You can tell from the faces of the most of the communities who are here, it is happiness and we think this will go on until the day. Uh, right now, Prime Minister is still giving us the episode of what is here already in this bridge. As you can see, this bridge, according to the engineers, will last for long. Even when water comes and it's too much, it will definitely pass and leave the bridge. This bridge will last for long. And I want to thank the people, the local people. Because I can, as you can see, the river brings the sand. It is that sand that we used. People were collecting in the basins. They were collecting in the, in the containers until when we got sand that worked on this bridge. That's the Prime Minister before we hand yes, over. Uh, uh, it also goes to the side of government. People are saying now that this is in place, can we expect the tarmacking of this road very soon? Uh, the tarmacking of this road, will, because we still have other bigger roads than this. This is a feeder road. Yes, it's a feeder road. It belongs to Mubende and the Kakumiro districts. But the engineer can give us a hint of what he thinks. This bridge, maybe how we did it. Thank you, Lord, Prime Minister. Uh, the bridge will go a long way to help uh, convey the waters here, and it will not uh, collapse as it has concrete down and up. You know, we, usually we have a problem of people stealing the, these calibers. Even if they remove these ones, it will remain, because the concrete is already up and down, so it will remain uh, conveying. But you have, but you also have to call upon our people not to, to guard it jealously, not to steal the because they usually slow those they steal the the ample culverts. They open them. We have had a problem in Kasese. They they stole them from down. Then the bridge collapsed in. Because it never had the, that encasing. Yes. So they should protect it. They should protect it. Thank you. Thank you, uh, viewers of UBC TV, as we excuse the Prime Minister and her team to at least go for the next program. We want to say that you have heard it from everyone who has been here. They have given you the details of how this process began and how we are winding up this process of seeing that now this is a very accessible road or bridge by the two communities of the districts of Kakumiro and Mubende. The Prime Minister and the ED Uganda National Road Authority have assured us that indeed this facility will stay here for ages to the extent of some even saying that it can probably last up to 100 years. We want to hand back to the broadcast house in Kampala and probably tell you that this is the NRM government which is doing all this and for that case, we want to promise you that on behalf of the management of UBC, we will always keep on bringing you such updates wherever they happen in every corner of this beautiful country called Uganda. Good evening.